A new challenge in the fight against the opioid epidemic, fentanyl overdoses are becoming more difficult to reverse with naloxone or its brand name Narcan. The good news, there's a new overdose reversal medication recently approved by the FDA. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon covers DEA investigations and joins us live with more. Eric. Well, prior to several weeks ago, DEA lab results revealed that four out of every 10 fake pills sold on the streets was laced with fentanyl. Now that number has jumped to six out of every 10 pills. And according to medical professionals who treat overdose victims, a fairly new medicine called Zimhi appears to be doing a much better job of reversing the effects of stronger fentanyl sold on the streets in the form of those fake pills. Fake prescription pills smuggled into Florida along with cocaine, meth, and heroin have been known to be laced with deadly fentanyl to produce a greater high. And recently, drug cartels have disguised fentanyl as candy. Even the people that just smoke regular marijuana, if they're getting it off the streets, we're seeing it laced with fentanyl here in Palm Beach County. That was trauma therapist Chris Chutkowski. He treats drug overdose victims who have suffered trauma to their bodies. He says recently, stronger forms of fentanyl smuggled into Florida have caused overdoses that are hard to reverse with just one dose of Narcan. And he's not alone. Putnam County Sheriff Gator DeLoach spoke of a troubling incident involving a child. You know, it's only been within the last few weeks that we actually had an infant that was exposed to a, a large dose of fentanyl um, that we believe was just a, an incidental touch contact from the mother. Um, and as a result, our deputies got on scene and they wound up having to deliver multiple doses of Narcan. And a Jacksonville woman who asked to remain anonymous says her daughter accidentally ingested fentanyl two weeks ago. Guess how many doses of Narcan her daughter needed? Well, she was administered twice in the ambulance Narcan and then twice again in the ambulance. That's a total of four doses of Narcan that took several minutes to save her daughter's life. But now there's a new FDA approved overdose reversal medication on the market called Zimhi, and it's considered by some medical professionals to be much stronger with faster results. So Narcan, as it's a four milligram nasal spray, when you administer that into the patient, they're actually only receiving about two milligrams. With the Zimhi, it is five milligrams, it's intermuscular, and as soon as that's injected in, they're receiving the full five milligrams. Using Zimhi is much like using an EpiPen that is injected into the leg muscle. Experts say reversing the effects of a fentanyl overdose can be as fast as 15 seconds and so far does not require multiple doses. Pharmacist William Nemo and one of his customers both say parents should keep some type of opioid overdose reversal medication in their home, especially now with so many drugs being disguised as candy. For the protection of their kids and uh, their neighbor's kids because uh, these opioid over overdoses are just too common these days. I believe it would be the best option is to have something available to save a life. Now, while anyone can uh, now go into a pharmacy to purchase Zimhi, I am being told through sources that there are uh, discussions behind closed doors to possibly make Zimhi available for all first responders here throughout the entire state of Florida. Now, if that were to happen, those first responders would, of course, have to undergo some type of uh, training. Meanwhile, first responders in some other parts of the country have already begun using that medication uh, on people who have uh, overdosed. Reporting live, Eric Avignon, Channel 4, The Local Station.